Okay, this bit of advice is directed specifically at programmers, engine programmers, scripters, doesn't matter who you are. Um, I suggest you keep a side task or a little side project on whatever project you're working on. I'll use the example, uh, I'm working on the text box system because this is a true story. And it's boring, it's a pain in the ass, it's hard work. You know, I'm, I'm splicing up, parsing text letter by letter, printing it out so it looks really cool, old school RPG style. I have to make it where you push A and it goes to the next screen. I have to make it where you can select things. I have to make it where it parses for certain HTML style characters. So you can do like Legend of Zelda and go to the fire volcano and make volcano red and all that. It's just, it's a huge pain in the ass. And you'll slowly become less motivated just because it's a pain. You don't want to have to work on that. And you're not doing anything that is really flashy so it doesn't look like you're making too much progress on the game. I recommend you work on something really cool on the side that's easy so you can show it off and be like, look what I did. And then people will be like, wow, good job, that looks cool. Uh, so right now I'll use the example, I'm rewriting a lot of the engine, which in case you don't know, that there's nothing I can show off. It's hours of work, you're just restructuring things, it's all internal, it's not going to make any bit of difference. But what I do on the side is I'm writing Lua wrappers for our classes so that Peter can get on with his job and do the things that are flashy. So when I do that, it also motivates Peter to get on his stuff. And then when I see Peter doing cool things with the things that I worked on, I'm like, wow, I feel like I can go back and rewrite this engine and it's not as much a pain in the ass anymore. So I recommend you have your primary task, which just, it needs to get done, whether it's fun or a pain in the ass, doesn't matter. Then you have your secondary task, which is fun, looks cool, you can show off to people. It'll help motivate you and your team. Okay, this one I think is important, and it's even more important for beginning developers or programmers. Join a development forum. I know it's going to be hard for you guys because we're all antisocial, losers, you know, but you're just socializing online. Deal with it. You really need to do this. When you get stuck and you have no idea what to do or where to go, there are people that will help you that aren't, you don't personal message me, don't do that. Uh, you post on the forums and you show them specifically what your problem is. I hate it when people give me their entire program without comments, don't do that. But you show specifically what's wrong or what you don't know how to do, and there are people who will be glad to help you. To this day, I still go to dcemulation.org, their forums. I've been visiting that since I was 14, and I'm 19 now. And when I'm stuck, or if I want advice, if I want to know how people would approach this situation, I post there because, I mean, they're Dreamcast developers, obviously, they're really smart guys, and also because that's just where I've been going, and to this day I still do that. I think it's very important that you guys find some sort of forum or community that you can turn to when you really need help. This is also very important. Make game developer friends. I remember when I first started, I think I was 14, there were, I had about three game developer friends. Two of them were a lot better than I was, and one of them was just starting with me. And the two of them that were a lot better than me, they taught me so much. Like, I would talk to them, I would learn things, I'd look at their code, we'd discuss things, I would learn. The guy who was learning with me helped keep me motivated, uh, we've been worked on projects together, we would always discuss what we're doing, you know, we kind of learn together. And one of the guys that uh, I'm talking about that was better than me, one of my old teachers, Marauder IIC, he actually just, well, not recently, but he joined our development team. So, yeah, the teacher joined me. And the other guy that I kind of grew up talking with, programming, he's the guy that got me into Dreamcast development. Without him, I really doubt I would have been able to start that early or get as far as I did. So it's it's important that you have some friends that you know. And it's good to have friends that are better than you. And it's also good to have friends that are at your level. Maybe friends that aren't as good as you might be a pain in the ass because they'll always ask for help. But I guess it depends on how nice of a person you are. Alright, this next piece of advice is something that every one of you should definitely follow. 
Do not show off concepts. I'm begging you. How many times do you see on YouTube or like a website or something, they've got like pages and pages of art and storyline, but they don't even have a programmer. They don't even have an engine or a game or anything. Like, they have ideas. They're like, this is going to be an MMO, the best game ever, all this, but there's no means of implementing them. There, some of these will take years and years to do. It's just, it looks like a joke to people who actually do know what's going on with game development. You look like a complete idiot. Because you are an idiot if you do that. You're setting yourself up for failure, because one, you'll never reach those expectations. Two, anybody who knows anything is just gonna blow you off. I mean, I would too. So, because I feel so strongly about this, I'm going to collectively make fun of every single one of you that do this, just because I can. Why, hello there, YouTube! My name is X. Still a Virgin 69 XX. And today I would like to talk to you all about a game I've been working on for. Actually, I haven't started working on it because uh, my mom says video games are bad for kids. But you know, whatever. I'm about to work on it. Uh, you pretty much, all you need to know is it's going to be the best video game on the planet. It's going to be an RPG, a shooter, and a racer all in one. And, oh, it's also going to be an MMO. So there will be uh, hundreds of players, like this guy, this guy, times about a million. So there will be about a million players, and they're all playable characters. But what we have to do is make sure there's plenty of women. Because I don't actually get to see women in real life because, I don't know, they don't really like me. So I like to see women on MMOs. So we need a graphics artist that can adequately reproduce boots. So she's going to have huge boobs, and they're going to be so nice, and I'm going to love to look at them. But anyway, and the combat, oh man, it's going to be amazing. You have a guy here, and, and the graphics, they're going to be HDR. So you have a sun, and it's casting rays over here with bloom lighting. So these boobs, they're going to have a nice shadow. And um, um, oh, the physics are going to be so realistic. You have a gun, and so, for example, you shoot his arm. And then it hits his arm, it blows his arm off, which comes down here, and bounces into her boob. And then her boob's gonna jiggle like this. See the jiggling motion? Kinda like this. But I don't actually know how boobs look when they jiggle, because I've, I've never really seen one. So we need a boob artist and a boob uh, physicist or something. So I, I think this project, we, we're gonna need um, a budget of about... Um... One million dollars, um, 23 programmers, um, let me think, I would say probably about two to the, um, tenth power artists, and, um, yeah, and I'll be the project lead, and you, got, you all can get a, a fraction of the profit, which I, uh, I project will probably be in the tens of millions, because, you know, I'm a genius, but yeah. So just let me know if you want to join the group, guys. I'm getting going. Let's do this. All right, so that pretty much concludes everything I had to say. I honestly hope that the viewers who've watched this leave with a sense of enlightenment, like at least you sort of know what you're doing now, how to get started. And if you do know how to get started, I recommend you go ahead and do that now. If you still need any sort of additional assistance, just leave a comment below, go find a forum, post questions. If you have any questions for me, you can personal message me, unless it's code. I'm still not a cheap whore. I don't do that. There's too many of you. But if you really want me to, you can join uh, my forums that I check constantly, and you can post whatever issue you have there under programming discussion, and either I or one of the other smart asses that visit that will help you with your problem. Um, if you're interested, this is not the only video I've done on YouTube. We have an ongoing series called The Adventures in Game Development where we show our weekends of where we develop this game. We show behind the scenes. Uh, we kind of screw around a lot, but we try and keep it slightly educational. Uh, if you're interested, I recommend you check those out because at least they're more entertaining than this. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought. Peace.